Vespertilio Cacas Rabatus. Knowledge. The quest for knowledge has brought us to this precarious moment at the cofferdam door. I never thought that we would survive this long or make it this far. My name is Dr. Howard Bray, and it was my foolish removal of a runestone fragment that set these frightening events in motion just mere hours ago. Imagine, to awaken this beast Healthdane the Terrible, a Viking Draugr returned to life after a millennia of rest, his curse only revealed to us with the completed runestone's translation. My assistant, Kate Sparrow, tried to warn me, but I could not listen because of my insatiable need to find the truth behind the runestone fragment specimen. Kate's patience and insight has helped carry us this far, though, along with her boyfriend, Polly Chops, and the very strange but resourceful Victor. With Polly's bravery and reckless abandon, and Victor's strange ability to fabricate fantastic tools out of mundane objects, we have ensured our safety on our quest to put Health Dane and his curse to rest. It's almost sunrise, and the vile apparition is almost surely at full strength, but I think I have found a way to make things right. It's up to Polly now, and Polly alone. Yo, my bike! I better find something to protect myself. Uh, beer. Sweet! Hell yeah! Yeah! That is a wicked looking potato gun. I think I'll hang on to it. And in case someone comes looking for it, this is not theft. If you want it, I have it. Oh, it's over here if you need it. I did not Fuck steal yeah. it. Borrow it. I should try a different club. Are you fucking serious? Better check out this damsel in distress. so very much. I just don't know what I would have done had you not arrived when you did. Thank you for saving my life. What the hell is going on? And where the fuck is Kate? 
Oh, pardon me, in, in my manners. You must be Mr. Chops, Kate's boyfriend. She speaks very highly of you. Yes, yes, of course. You must be Dr. Bray. I'm Paulie. Or just call me Paulie. Where's Kate, and when did you hear from her last? What the hell is going on around here? Um, you see, we found this stone fragment that you see in the case here, and it certainly wasn't glowing like that yesterday, I'll tell you. Anywho, my theory is that when we removed the rock, it must have set the curse in motion. What? What curse? Curses are in fucking movies. Not this time. This is no movie, I assure you. It seems when we removed this fragment in the case, all hell, excuse my language, broke loose. It appears a Viking named Helfdane the Terrible has set forth his army of wraiths to collect human souls in order to regain his hold on all of Nordic Cove. Well, shit. Have you talked to Kate? Can we talk to her? Hello? Polly? Yeah, babe. It's Dr. Bray and me. Hey, hon. Dr. Bray. Things are getting a little spooky around here. What do you mean, Kate? There's this dense fog that has taken over the entire dig site. I have a hunch this might have something to do with the rock fragments I've seen scattered around the course. There seems to be some type of spectral event growing here, like powerful, lots of energy. Are you safe? Yeah, as far as I can tell, this is something I wouldn't want to miss. Okay, sweetheart, put your phone on vibrate and I'll check in with you as soon as we look around for these rocks. Yes, love, you know I wouldn't do anything dumb. <laughs> yeah, sure, hon. Anything in the name of science. Yo, Doc! What do you make of this gadget? Why, that has components similar to those I've seen around the course that the groundskeeper Victor has. You can look for him and see if he can help you and aid you in what that thing does. Well, if we have to wander this godforsaken course to look for little fragments, and this guy Victor, I might as well get a nine in. Better grab that fragment from the case so we have them all. <gasps> um, Polly. Victor may be someone who could better assist you. He's, he's somewhat odd, but he's very familiar with the course and might have something available to protect you from whatever's out there. He's quite a tinkerer. Let's get this shit taken care of. The faster we get these damn rocks, the faster I get my girl home for what's left of a date night. S seriously, Polly, I think you're better equipped to take care of this. I, I don't think I'm prepared to do this. Dude, we got this. Stick with me. You are going to find a way to help me make this right. Whatever you think is best. Come on, man, get a move on. We don't have all night. Where's this Victor character? He should be just up here. At least that's one place he usually is. Hey, who goes there? Victor, it's me and Kate's boyfriend, Paulie. We need your help. <laughs> You're gonna need more than just help, my friend. Hey, I see you found my golf ball gun. I was wondering where that ran off to. If that's what this is, this is where it is. What does this contraption do? All right, now see here, this is no ordinary weapon. Well, you can get some good action off of it, if you use it right. But remember this, you only have limited ammunition. Oh, and while you're killing things out there, and I'm sure you will, check around on those other dead bodies for additional ammo. I was gonna be over at the maintenance barn where I got my protection circle set up. Yep, looks like we might need more fucking chickens. That thing just broke my golf club. Hope all these dead golfers have spares. Hey, Polly, let me have a look-see at that there stone you got. There you go. Slip that over your head, and now you have your hands free if you need them. Thanks, Vic. Let's go, Doc. That's on the short grass. Yep. Why are you invading my personal space? Ray! Son of a motherfucker! Damn, Ray! <laughs> Get some! Ah! Ha! 
That fall must be afraid of the dark. Guess that'll have to do. Gotcha! Want some? That lawnmower ready soon. Filthy gophers. Oh, excuse me, you need something? I'll have that lawnmower ready soon. You need something? What can I do for you?
you're dancing. You watch it! That's on the short grass. I think it saw us!
gotta be kidding me. Take that! Ah! Take that! You made it to the dance floor.
Nicely played, Mr. Chops. Oi!